I got I got a dime on Johnson Whitehead. It could be more. All right, so what's up, YouTube? Today we're gonna find out if uh, did Charleston White snitch on Brick Baby? So that's the question everybody wants to know, right? So I know all this, this video just popped up with Charleston White talking about uh, he snitched on Brick Baby. He gave Brick Baby up. So we're gonna watch that little clip from that video right here, right? I told y'all when Brick Baby. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it all the way back to you when the feds got on him. I put, I'm the one that put the feds on Brick Baby. I keep telling y'all niggas think I be playing. When, when, when Brick Baby went to Houston and was playing on the internet and put that $10,000 stack on his head and indirectly said, hey, I got some money on Charleston Head. And he continued to act like he was pursuing me. I made a federal report, nigga. First, I called Houston and made the report to Houston, but I did this through my law enforcement friend. So, not only that, we filed a report with, with the feds in L.A., along with the L.A. County police. I swear to God, I'm telling you the honest to God truth, this is what I did. So as a self-proclaimed gang leader, a gang member who has ties to one of the most notorious gangs, in this state, in this country. He's now going around telling all the gang information. They see the, the feds see he got a loose lip, so he may give up some information. So I swear to God, on my, I told y'all all I wanted was a bag. I got all the bags now. Okay, so the only thing with that is he made the same video down there 10 months ago talking about that brick baby uh, put some money on his head and you know I mean the feds was on Brick Baby then so here go the video with Brick Baby doing the money on the head thing like that right I got I got a dime on Johnson Whitehead it could be more alright so first of all you can't do that so I don't know what made Brick Baby feel like that's like a terrorist threat you know what I'm saying like if I was like a square dude I, I would feel the same way as Charleston White like ah oh, shit nigga you threatening me and stuff like what do you expect him to do right but anyway apparently that was 10 months ago i thought that was like last week or something by the it way funny, I, when brick baby put that ten thousand dollars on his head i didn't have to say nothing the district attorney's office immediately sent that video to the california brewers of investigation they immediately sent that to, i didn't have to say nothing I didn't have to call no brick baby, put his own self into this FBI shit by jumping online. And then he said, I'm in Houston. So what did they do now? Contact the people in Houston. Because that's where he made the, you can't, come on, homie. They playing, they playing online. They playing gangster. They playing gangster online. What the fuck? I didn't have to call no, the, they act as if these people are not watching this shit. He did that about 10 months ago. You know what I'm saying? It takes that long for the feds to pick up a case, you know what I'm saying? And ever since then, he's been on no jumper, you know, game banging and talking about this on every little podcast and just, you know what I mean? Like Charleston White said, you know what I'm saying? The feds is looking like Brick Baby got a loose lip. Like he just talking and stuff. So they just watching everything he's doing, building a case against him, right? So like they say, you know what I mean? Feds only want two things for it from you. They don't either gonna convict you or they want you to be a snitch and shit, right? So he's not the big fish. He's just, he, they want they probably want him to be a snitch. They're gonna be like, oh, we got this on you, we got this on you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you gonna have to work a deal, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn, so now you got Brick Baby in a situation where, just like Boosie and all these other dudes and stuff, right? You know what I mean? It's like, it's to the point where now, like I say, nowadays you can just snitch and get away with it, right? So we don't know what the situation is, right? But like I say, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Everybody deal with the dudes, Charleston White. Like, I, I really don't watch his content, but it's like, if you know how he is, why do y'all play with this dude and stuff? Like, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to look at it, the, the things he say. If you're a, not a gang member or whatever, if you're just a, a civilian, not a affiliate, you're going to be looking like, oh, we agree with what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? My parents and everything, they'll listen to him and be like, yeah, he's right. He, he shouldn't be afraid of gang members. He should be able to walk around and... I mean, he is God-fearing and stuff like that, right? So, 
we look like he's wrong and everything like that. We disagree, but you know what I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? Y'all mess with this man and he's, he's a, you know what I mean? He's like, he's telling you now he worked for the police. And then at the same time, you gotta realize if he didn't work for the police, that's impersonating a false officer, police officer. So he got to be telling some type of truth in the, in the things he say. It's just the fact that y'all don't believe the shit that comes out of his mouth. Like I said, you just can't go around portraying the role of a police officer and having badges and hats and all this stuff and not be one or be affiliated somehow, right? So y'all keep playing with Charles and White, you know what I mean? The man does what he does, it is what it is. If you don't like his content, no, it's to his content. You know what I mean? But y'all playing with that man, y'all gonna get in trouble and he's telling y'all. So with no further ado, uh, I don't think uh, Charles and White told on Brick Baby, I think Brick Baby just dug his own, you know, uh, they just, the police gave him enough rope and let him hang, hang himself. So, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. So tell me what y'all think in the comments uh, uh, to my next video. Let me get up out of here. Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Sheik Lewis, L-O-X-D, Block, Silverback. Sorry about the workout gear and all that, just getting out the gym. But, um, yo, June 1 billion, what's poppin', fam? Listen, I just want to send some positive vibes your way and tell you continued success with everything you put your mind to, man. And um, definitely your YouTube channel, June 1 billion. Yo, uh, keep pushing, man. Everybody get involved, man. It's a movement. That's what it is. Your boy, Sheik Lewis, Locks, D, Block. Hip-hop, 2023 is yours. Let's go. Yeah.